We're doing this in one take, okay? I got I got places to be today. I got people to talk to. I got deals to make. I got it. Shut up. I got it. That look good. There's something. There's something. Hey, you ever heard of this guy? Kind of beard. Yeah. You never heard of this guy? Huh. Well, you better hold on to your socks because I'm about to take them off. I mean, I'm about to, I'm about to knock your socks off. Christianity was born from Judaism because that guy in the picture, his name was Jesus, by the way. He was Jewish. Now, let me stop you right there because I know you're probably saying to me, what? How did that dang, dang, dick See, as Jesus got older and wiser, he started teaching people about God and such, you know, and he, he grew more popular. He got a bunch of disciples, which is like a fancy way of saying follower, and his 12, his, there were like 12 closest ones there called as apostles. They're pretty important, you know. Rome didn't like Jesus educating people about God and telling them right from wrong, telling out their kids how to act and such. So, you know what they did doing? They, they crucified him. I know, I don't know. It's just what happened. It's, 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 a, it's an ugly, ugly thing. Oh, he's fine. He, he rose from the dead. He went up to heaven. He went up there. Up there. It's amazing because he, he just got more popular. Like people like Peter and John, they were they spread uh, Christianity all across the way, all as far as you can imagine. They set up churches, and at some point, the Emperor Constantine, he he's like an emperor of Rome. He's pretty, he's pretty important. He uh he made Christianity the official religion of Rome. That's crazy. That's crazy. I know, right? Now, why on earth would you want to be a Christian? Well, for starters, you could go to heaven if you lived your life. If you live your life right, you follow the Ten Commandments. You 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 get a sure ticket up there to meet the big man upstairs. You know they got like free pizza. They got uh, whatever the the kiddies are into these days. We got, got the Ten Commandments right here. You shall not. You shall have no other god before me. Which means you trust God. You don't, you don't, you don't run off with any other god. You stick with this guy. He's the one and only one. You best remember that. You shall not make idols. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, Sunday. Keep that holy. Keep that day holy. Honor your mother and father. Listen, listen to what they tell you to do. They, 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 they brought you down to this earth. They can take you off it. You shall not murder which I have not done. You shall not steal. What's mine? You shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor and you shall not covet. And the best thing about Christianity is they forgive you for your sins. No matter how many times you've done it, you've done it one time, you've done it two times, you've done it 39 and a half times, they forgive you. You just walk up into that confession box and go like, Go, go, go. Hey, uh, I feel bad about this. Uh, I, I want to repent for my sins, he said. Uh, and there you go. So become Christian today. You're just a phone call away from eternal life. He's still recording. You turn off. I, I, I still see the red light going. Stop recording.